Hi guys! So, um, as promised, I'm going to be doing a not another haul video, but this is actually quite different. Um, if you can't tell by the title already or you are unsure about what Warby Parker is, um, Warby Parker is actually one of the top 500, if not in the top 10, um, rising e-commerce companies out there on the web. And I first heard about Warby Parker actually not too long ago. It has to be this year, like earlier this year, after stumbling upon various um, business articles online and through LinkedIn and um, Bloomberg, every single business outlet uh, out there. And um, I'm pretty sure a lot of other media hosts have talked about it too. But Robbie Parker is... Um, is not that renowned yet. It's one of those new indie brands, kind of like um, out here in the beauty world, like if you've heard of Julep, um, which is spelled J-U-L-E-P, um, like mint julep. So they are among the very few rising companies that are startup, um, very entrepreneurial uh entrepreneurial spirit driven and they each have their own little niche and the reason why that these companies are doing so well at what they do is because they have very defined target audience their first of all their layout their format aesthetics of their website are just blown out of the water they're amazing they look really clean and fresh and modern modern like something you've never seen before um, and they are starting to actually gain a really big following online social media, whether it be Twitter, Tumblr, um, YouTube, or Facebook. Actually, when I first came upon, um, I was researching what glasses to get for Warby Parker to try on. I just wanted to see if there were any videos out here and on YouTube, and turns out there have been other videos made about what I'm doing exactly right now. So, in case you know you don't believe me, go search for yourself and um, find you know all those other girls and guys that do try on eyeglasses. Um, but anyway, so Warby Parker, all they specialize in is eyeglasses and sunglasses, both for men and women. And I will link to you all the information below, and as well as the whole try on process that I'm doing right now. And it's actually really great. See, the process works like this. Um, you go and browse on their website, whether you're female or male, you pick out five frames that are catching your eye and you really want to try it on. Um, you, can, you have two ways to try it on. You can either do what I'm doing, which is the home delivery system. It's completely free. You don't have to pay for shipping. It costs nothing to sign up. All you do is make an account. It's really fast and you get to try on whatever pairs of eyeglasses you want in the mail instantly. And the other the other way to try them on is the virtual try on, which I actually did and normally I don't really do um, do those type of programs if companies offer it because I just feel like it looks really weird and um, but I feel like if you're a Mac user it might just have a little bit easier way to try on it um, that way so that's probably why um, Mac people have a greater advantage at doing the virtual try on because it's a lot more user friendly that way but anyway so you pick your five eyeglasses and they ship them to you in the mail and the first day that you get them, you're supposed to start timing yourself. And you have five days um, to try them on, think it over, decide. And if at the end of that um, time period, day five, you decide you don't like any of them, you can just ship it back to them. It includes a prepaid postage label. And you just drop it off at UPS or um, USPS Postal Service, um, whatever. I'm pretty sure it's just the USPS. Um, and so you drop it off before your time ends, and that's that's it like you're not obliged to buy anything um, the goal or incentive is that it's in hopes that you will find something that you like so if you find a one eyeglass that you try on you um, you don't get to keep them of course because they don't already com come prescribed with your prescription lenses but um, I don't know, that detail's a little something that I'm fuzzy about, but you basically just let them know that you like this pair and they'll go ahead and um, after you give them your doctor's orders or um, information that way, they'll go ahead and start making the glass that you want and um, 
Another thing that drew me to this side is I know that when it comes to eyewear, um, not only that, but sunglasses in general, everyone just decides to become designer brand whores. Like, I was actually guilty of that, and one of those people, I, um, for the longest time, um, my glass lifeline has been, like, I think it started with, like, Ray-Ban, and then I have Versace now, all throughout college I had that, and now when I'm, tr I'm getting smarter as a shopper and as a young professional, I'm trying to branch out and explore new designers, new brands, and Warby Parker is amazing because all of their glasses are about $95, if not a little bit more than that, but they're in the 100 range. And when you get glasses, especially with prescriptions, just the frame alone, I think they're like around 200, 300 upwards if you go to like Lens Crafters or Dr. Value Vision or wherever you go to in your um, state or country. But so yeah, that's the main reason that fueled my thing for wanting to do this. And then when I saw that you could make a video out of this, um, that was just a really good incentive just so I could get your opinion to see which one you think looks good on me. But yeah, basically I'm not getting paid to do this video. That I wasn't contacted. I'm not sponsored. This is just me wanting to share with you what I know about the company and maybe you'll want to check it out too. So without further ado, let us just get started. Um, I decided not to wear, I was going to wear um, false lashes today, but since I was trying on glasses, I just decided not to because, you know, with false lashes, whether it's synthetic or real, it definitely gets in the way of your, I wouldn't say vision, but just like the actual lens frame. It, um, it definitely impairs your trying to see straight without looking funny with like a huge like hair sticking out. So, um, so yeah, but I was going to wear false lashes so just to to let you know that but so okay so here is the box that it comes with in I mean um, it's just white it's shipped from UPS ground actually and I all I've done is open it I haven't really tried them on um, and I just wanted to see what it looked like in the inside and it's just this is actually the size of the box and if you've watched other videos like my home try on before, you know that um, it comes in a black case like this. Looks really, really chic like you're, I don't know, in New York, like you're going to sell like a wholesale line or something. But it's, it's just like a, a very, um, how would you describe this? A very, very soft covering. It's fabric, black fabric, looks really sleek. And it comes with two buttons on this box, both sides, which is what holds the box down um, tight. And then on the inside, this is what it looks like. has all of the five different frames for you that you selected. And then this one is its just a card that says, Get Excited. We're going to find you some amazing glasses. So that's just something extra that they put in all of their... Um, all of their boxes that they used to try on and I totally forgot what I selected so this is just gonna be a brand new experience for me as well so um, let's start with the first one that I see and this one is called Sinclair it says the name of the eyeglass right there in the color graystone and it just says demo and the reason why I picked these glasses out was because of this cute little shape right here and you'll see the ones that I select they all kind of like look very similar which is this very rounded um, circle eye shape and it looks like a statement eyeglass like you can tell and this is in I liked it because it's in the neutral shade um, gray so um, actually let me get let me go grab you my glasses that I have now so that you can just compare the two the Versace's that I was talking about compared to um, to compare to the trial demo version and as you can tell the ones that I have now are very very thin I don't really want to wear it because I have contacts in and don't want to mess up my vision any further but this is just really small and thin as you compare as you can tell this one is totally different and not um, not like this one at all like this is so big but, so yeah, I'll try and compare that for each one of these that I try on. 
But here are the first ones. And I don't know. I think it looks actually really cute. I didn't think that I would like it as much as I do. Um, I know when I was watching other videos that people that had these glasses, they kind of were saying the feedback was it made their eyes look bigger, which I guess it does, but maybe that's just because they don't have a prescription lens. But also, I feel like only certain people can pull off this kind of glass because it's so um, very unique and out there. Like, it's definitely a quirky look. <laughs> so, I actually really like these. I think these are cute. And, you know, not saying that I'm bragging that I'm one of the people that can pull it off, but it still looks really cute. Um, and I like that it's very high up and arch-wise on my nose because being Asian, um, very, very challenged, as you can tell, I have a flatter, um, flatter nose than the most people, I guess, yeah, flatter nose. So that means I hate glasses that always like f kind of fall down the bridge of my nose because it's so flat and nothing will stay put. But this one, actually I don't even have to adjust it at all and it's already staying um, in place up there, which I like. Um, I like that you can still see your eyebrows. They don't make it look like manly, like I have a unibrow or anything. Um, and here's the side version. So I think the side version looks even cuter. If you go online, you can actually do the model with your mouse and you can see a couple different view, angle views, um, front view and then a side view and then I'll do like a 360 view kind of like so you can see. But, so yeah, here's the first one. And also another thing about Warby Parker, if you notice, um, a lot of designer um, designer glass companies, they put their logo right up here. So it's like really obnoxious and you can see who made them. But Warby Parker is actually, um, since they are the, an e-commerce company like they are, they, they buy their glasses really cheap from a wholesaler and they don't even have to put a label on it because that just defeats the purpose. If you're buying through Warby Parker, it means that you're getting really high quality for, for really cheap and it's just a company that you don't need to know because you're getting such a good deal about it, if that makes any sense. But, so yeah, I really like that it has no markings um, on the side of the frame right there. So yeah, that's the first one and I actually really like it. So I might want to save that one. Um, the second one is called Miles and this one is in the color Sandalwood Matte. This one is kind of similar to the first one that I showed you, except it's a tan color and the actual circle lenses are a lot more narrower and not as round, like prominent, like I'm Harry Potter about to cast a spell on you. But these, um, I think I heard other people commenting that they were a lot more, um, the frame of it was like more tight tighter around the base of their head so but I mean I could I do definitely tell a difference like it's a lot tighter behind your ear more compressed against the the side of your head but that's fine um but I don't know if I like it maybe it's just my the way I'm sitting or my eyebrows but it makes it look a little like lopsided on me I don't know it just makes me look a little more artsy which there's nothing wrong with that but um, I, I do really like if I can zoom you in the texture of um, the frame is a kind of a matte finish so I really like that um, it's not as plasticky it feels like a little bit more higher quality and um, so yeah that's all I can say about the finish um, Style-wise, I don't think I like this one as much because, I don't know, I just, I guess I don't really have a good enough reason. Maybe because the arch of it falls a little bit lower down my nose and the top of the actual frame, if I look in the side mirror right here, it looks a little bit thicker um, on the top and you can definitely tell that it, right here it's lighter. So, I don't know if I like that because it just makes me look like even more for eyes. So, I definitely don't say I would be picking out this one um, anytime soon. I'm excited about because this is more truer to the style that I was eyeing, um, which is the more circular frame, but it still has kind of like a retro feel. Like, if you see on the side, and I 
put it over here. Um, it kind of like has a wingtip or a cat eye effect on the side and it looks very retro um, if you're looking at it from the top, top wise. So I do like that. So let's just try it on and see how it looks on my ginormous head. Um, actually, I can't really tell a difference now than the first one. I feel like it's very similar. The only thing I do notice, like I said, it has this kind of cat eye wing effect on the side. Which, I mean, I guess I don't really mind, but I don't know if I want it to be as prominent as it is right there. Because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I go need, I need to buy like a Model T car or something now. But um, this is the plastic finish. It's not matte like the previous one. And this is in the color Charcoal Fade. So it's, it's a gray again. But, um... But yeah, so that is how that one looks. It's I think I do definitely like the style, but I just don't like this one in particular. Um, it even has what I what I experienced before, which is like the darker on the top, going to a, like a lighter gradient. So I don't know if I like that. It's a little bit too trendy. Um, when it comes to eyeglasses or sunglasses, I don't want to be too too trendy. Like I want to. Um, I still want it to look classic because at the end of the day, you're going to be wearing these for like three, four years, even five, whatever, until you break them or decide to get a new one. And if I'm going to be looking at it every day, I don't want it to, um, I don't want it to have like purple, red, yellow colors on it. Um, so yeah, the, the fourth one is called Ballard. Which I don't really like the name of that because it makes me think of a duck and I'm like definitely don't want to be looking like a duck anytime soon. But this is in the color Gim or shade Gimlet Tortoise. And this one's a little bit different style. Like before even putting it on you can tell kind of if I angle it this way that the sides of the frame they look very wide already like look how the actual stems I want to call everything stems like they're plants but I don't know what you call this I guess just like a little the thing that holds the eyeglass it, it kind of already veers out which is really extreme and I don't know if I like that but um, this one I feel like either someone stretched out or it's made for a man but whatever so this one is the Ballard and this one actually looks, um, it actually doesn't look that bad. So I don't know why I'm like, I'm knocking it, but maybe if it was a little bit tighter, closer to the head, I would like it. Um, again, this does have, um, this does, I'm trying to not reflect it for you, but this does have like that, um, effect in the actual glasses that makes your eyes look really big. So, um, just try to excuse that because... That's just not that not normal, I guess. But I kind of picked the shade because of the tortoise. Very, very classic. Um, my last glasses here, they are more of like a purpley brown. And, and the inside, if you can tell, like on the interior rim, it's still very tortoise-like too. So um, that is what my old ones look like. But this one, I don't know. I just don't know about this. I don't really have an opinion. Um, again, this kind of has like that veering out effect um, right there. But this one is more oval-like than the other ones that I showed you, which are mo definitely more um, more circular. So this one is like your truer classic or frame, classical frame. is is also a plastic finish, um, and but it it's just like a very I don't know, I like the contrast of the tortoise, like it's very yellow and brown. So, um, so yeah, that's the fourth one. So, don't know how I feel about that one. And then the last one is called Marshall, and this is in the color striped sassafras, or sis, yeah, sassafras. That's just kind of a weird thing to say. But, um, the frame of these are kind of like the ones, last ones that I showed you, which are the Ballards, um, except I think the only difference I can clearly tell on first glance is that the top is kind of, um, I don't know, the top just looks different, like it looks more rounded or flat or something like that, but let's just go ahead and put these on. Um, 
Oh, okay, so I know the difference is now this side is not as ov um, oval. It's a lot more like tapered, if not, it has like an angle or a curve on the side. Um, I don't know how I, because my hair is up and I have makeup and glasses and earrings. Like, I feel like I don't look like me. But if I look in the mirror, it's just a lot more truer, I guess, effect. But, I mean, these ones aren't that bad, actually. This one looks the most... I think it looks like the most similar to what I have now, except that the frames, the actual frames, are a lot bigger, obviously, because they're bigger. But um, it's also plastic frame um, rim, and it's also like a tortoise type effect, except it's striped. And this one is brown-ish, so yeah, it's just brown. Kind of matches my highlights right now, too. So, yeah, I will definitely uh, write down all of the styles that I tried on below. Um, I'll link to you the website, Warby Parker, and then um, you can just read for yourself if you want to, look at videos, check out other cool information. And um, So, yeah, I hope you found this video really helpful and that if you enjoyed it or do like videos like this or want me to do like different reviews, definitely let me know. Um, don't forget to check out my blog. I just kind of like updated a whole bunch of posts on my um, Italian trips, different cities. So follow me there if you haven't. And I will definitely try to post there more often now, as you can tell. Um, and then I'm on Instagram, Facebook, everything except for Twitter. I, I swear on my dead cat that I will not tweet ever because I just don't need to go there. But anyways, thanks so much for sticking around and watching and don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, so I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.